Hola chicos, eh, hoy en este video quiero hablar del presente. Seguimos con el presente con los irregulares y con los verbos de cambio ortográfico, que quiere decir spell changes. Y puedes ver todos estos verbos aquí, hago, cojo, conduzco, traigo, veo, conozco, sigo, salgo. Todos estos verbos tienen estos spell changes. So, um, vamos a categorizarlos, o we'll categorize them, y vamos a organizarlos. So it's a little bit easier to learn them. So, vamos a seguir a la próxima. La primera categoría que tenemos es los go verbs. And most of you guys know these. Uh, todos estos verbos son irregulares en la forma de yo. So, eso es importante. Estamos hablando de la forma de yo. So, primero, los verbos en rojo, en el color rojo, the red ones, are verbs that you absolutely need to know. And in the next slides, you'll see some that are blue that aren't really essential. Todos estos verbos aquí son rojos, es decir, que estos verbos son súper importantes, que tenemos que saberlos. All right, entonces, caer en inglés quiere decir to fall. Ok, so este verbo uh, quiere decir to fall, caer. Eh, el verbo traer quiere decir to bring en inglés. Poner quiere decir to put. One way I remember put is you see the on inside the verb. We confuse it with poder often, but if you think put on, that sometimes helps help me when I learned it. Salir, to leave, or to go out. Um, oops, sorry, I'm putting the yo form instead. So, to leave or to go out. Uh, y luego el verbo hacer is, we know, to make or to do. It means either one, just depends on context. Okay, so, es muy importante que sepamos las palabras en inglés. We don't know what these mean in English. They're absolutely useless to us. So that's kind of step number one. All right, so ¿qué pasa con estos verbos? Si pasamos a la forma de yo, right, when we think about our normal steps in the yo form, we know now that at this point we need to cut this verb off, the ending off, and add something to the ending. So we start with the root of our verbs, and if this is something that you feel like is a problem for you, you can go back to the screencast, anatomy of the verb, and you can take it from there. So we have all of our roots now. We cut off the ER of all these verbs, and this is what happens. Now, our rule for the yo form in the present tense is to add an o to these roots. And you can see what happens if we do this. Let's actually do it. We have cao, trao, pono, salo, aco. Right? Does cao sound anything like caer? Does trao sound anything like traer? Pono, poner? They don't sound like them. And more importantly, and the more you study Spanish, the more you'll realize this, they don't feel like Spanish words. They don't sound like Spanish words. And I think most of you guys know if you say cao or trao, that that doesn't, just doesn't sound right to you. And it's correct. It's not right. So, estos verbos irregulares, if you follow your gut, oftentimes you get the right uh, conjugation. So, this is a go verb. Unfortunately, we don't just add go to these. We have to add sometimes another letter. This verb, I fall, caigo. The verb, I bring, traigo. Again, we add the I. I put, Pongo. A little bit easier, we just add the go. I leave, salgo. And then the verb hacer, we actually have to cut the C off as well and make it a G. The yo form is hago. So, como sabemos estos verbos, right? We think to ourselves, what's up with these irregulars? How do I learn them? Chicos, es pura memorización. I'm sorry, but that's really the only way to use it or to learn them, and the best way to learn, the best way to memorize, is to use these verbs as often as possible. So, caigo, traigo, pongo, y salgo. Now, ¿qué pasa en las otras formas de estos verbos? En las otras formas de estos verbos son completamente regulares. Let's get a new page up. Let's take the verb caer. Right? Las conjugaciones, we know that the yo form now has this weird ending. All of the other forms, my friends, are completely regular. So they just follow their regular um, ER endings. So la única forma irregular es la forma de yo. Right? But if you want to say, he falls a lot when he plays soccer. El cae mucho cuando juega el fútbol. Um, we fall off trees often. I don't know. Nosotros caemos de los árboles. So we have this verb to fall, and it's only irregular in la forma de yo. And that applies to all the other verbs that we see here. So traer 
poner, salir y hacer solo son irregulares en la forma de yo. So, este es video número uno. This is the first video on our first category, the go verbs. En clase, vamos a practicar. Your um, job is to know what these things mean, both in English, in their translations, and to know, um, of course, what their yo forms are. So, eh, nos vemos en clase mañana. Take a look at Edmodo for what you need to do for homework for this. Y nos vemos en clase. Gracias. Chao.